Hello, I'm Mary Pat. And I'm Whitney. And this is a conversation for when you feel disconnected from God. <laughs> Let's jump in. <laughs> Have you ever felt disconnected from God? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She says, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah? I mean, I think I feel that way on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> like, to some degree, you know? Facts. I don't know. Mm. I'd probably tend to be a little over-analytical of things like that, but... That's probably true. I'm highly aware of when I feel disconnected from... Everything? Everything. Uh, that's true. That's yeah. true. That's true. Um, I would... I would. I feel that. If there isn't a moment that I'm intentionally, like, connecting with God, then I feel... Mm-hmm. But I think that that's kind of how I feel in relationships, mm-hmm. too. It's like, I haven't seen this person today. We haven't connected. Yeah. Um, but I think the emphasis of this one is when it's a bigger it's one. It's kind of a longer... Bigger season... Longer season of disconnection. ...version of this. Yeah. Um, have you ever felt like that before? Yeah. Also, yes. Yeah. (laughs) Also, yes. (laughs) Can you share an example of a time when that happened? Oh, man. Um, yeah, I think I felt, I felt probably the most disconnected from God, like right when I got to college. Oh. Um, I went to a Christian university after I'm a pastor's kid, I grew up like in very many multifaceted ministry dynamics. And like, I really didn't want to go to a Christian school. Um, because I just was kind of like looking for something different than like what I had grown up in. <coughs> and so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Thanks. I ended up going to a Christian school. Um, and it was pretty far away from home and I was looking forward to it. But like after I had been there a couple of weeks, I really started to feel like, like just sort of like I was, I think because I was disconnected from my natural environment that I had grown up in and I hadn't made a lot of friends yet and stuff like that, like I was having enough fun, but I didn't feel a lot of purpose Mm. yet. And so that actually, it kind of did like, that ended up being the little spark for a big, huge season of spiritual growth for me was because, uh, you know, I needed to kind of feel that lull in the action from the normal sense of connection that I had felt. But, um, yeah. I think I have felt disconnected from God in seasons where I'm going through really hard things with people. Mm -hmm. It's weird. It's like I'm connected to him, but I also feel disconnected. I think even more so it's probably, mm, Mm. I felt disconnected to God when I've been angry at him. Yeah. <laughs> when I don't like what's going on. Yeah. And I'm really confused and I get in kind of to like a rage space where I'm like, all of this just sucks. Yeah. I feel very, that's when I feel the most disconnected. That's interesting. When I'm angry I feel about like, what's going on. I feel actually pretty connected to God when, when I'm you're angry. angry. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel I like think God has always welcomed my anger. So, well, it's not even so much that I feel like he's not welcoming my anger. I just feel when I am angry that way, I feel like I am a little kid and I'm stomping around a room and I'm like, this isn't fair. What's yeah. going on? And he's just waiting there. Yeah. While I kind of thrash about <laughs> and I'm upset about the situation. Yeah. Not that I, and it's not even so much like, oh, there's a numbness. Like I've, I'm trying to connect with him. I think it's more so like if I decide to connect with him in this anger, I know he's going to ask me not to be angry, like, you know, not to get over my yeah. anger, but he's going to tell me why I'm angry and he, then he's going to work me through it. And yeah. I'm like, I don't want to. I I don't know if there's been times in yeah. my life where I've actually been like, I can't hear God right now. And I'm not trying to mm-hmm. brag. I'm That's not what I'm trying to do. I just like... Him and my relationship has always been like, if I'm not talking to you, it's probably because I'm upset with you, not necessarily because it's like, I can't feel you. Mm -hmm. Um, what, what do you think about the disconnection that, that people feel when they say, I just can't hear from God. I just can't talk with him. I don't know what's going on. Like, I feel like he's far away because I've had people say that to me before and I have bouts of that. Where I'm like, oh, I kind of feel that. But mm-hmm. like, why do you think people kind of feel that way about it? I mean, I think that feeling disconnected from God is like, it's one of those topics that 
everybody's going to feel that differently and for different reasons. Mm. And so it's kind of, there's not really like an emotional thumbprint for feeling disconnected from God because I think that it comes up from so many different situations, seasons, Mm. like environments, even like cultural norms. Like there's a lot of different elements to like why we may be in a season of feeling disconnected from God. Um, And I think that maybe like the, some aspect of normalcy in that is confusion. Mm. I think that that's kind of like a common theme there that like, even if you kind of have an idea of like, this is why I'm, I feel disconnected from God, it's disorienting anyway. And I think that that's kind of the common thread because we actually were designed to be connected very intimately to God. Mm. And so when we sense that we're not, we're kind of like, where are we in the world? Right. I, we use the example of the garden for almost everything. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And I think in that moment when Adam and Eve decide to do what they do, they've made a decision to do what God has told them not to do. And then they feel disconnected from him. Mm -hmm. And then in their shame, they go to run away to be even more disconnected with him. And then God walks around going, Hey, we haven't connected in a while. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Right. And... You know, Adam and Eve basically lay out their story in front of him. But it's interesting to me that like that is their point of disconnection. And then out of that disconnection at the very beginning, it has caused the rest of humankind. All the other disconnections you can possibly think of. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, So I think it's important to like when we're feeling this way, there's like a couple of different, you know, that confusion and disorientation kind of creates like, I don't know how to how to reaccess this and and truly like having a relationship with God is just like anything else like you don't always feel the way that you want to feel so this is not so much mm-hmm. about you know oh I like I need to always be like up like in some euphoric state of existence with Jesus like there's an ebb there's a flow there's an ebb and flow to it like sometimes it is mundane and just like being in a relationship with a person like it's not always fun like there are aspects to it that are difficult or sometimes just kind of like every day and not that big of a deal Mm -hmm. so this is less of a less of like I don't feel anything you know like very sensory when I think about God but more like there's something broken or fragmented um, that's kind of creating this perpetual sense of like there's space between me and God that I can't overcome Um, and I think that that's like the garden moment is something that's a good access point for all of us to come back to and to recognize that like that, that situation caused a humongous ripple effect of all kinds of disconnections. And the disconnections go like between me and you, like vertical or horizontal. Mm -hmm. And they also go like from me to myself. So there's parts of myself that I will push away or fragment off that I don't really want to deal with or I don't want to think about. I don't want to feel that. I don't want to remember that. Mm -hmm. Things that are painful, things that I have done, things that have been done to me, all of that creates that it all connects together. Like it's supposed to connect together. So when we experience disconnections in our relationships and within ourselves, it can often kind of echo into the way that we feel between us and God as well. So how do we get connected back to God. Hmm. Um, This is going to sound like so rudimentary, I think, (laughs) because it actually is. Um, But again, if you go back to the garden, the thing that initially was like the most intimate moment, like really in human history between the divine and us was God putting his breath inside of us. And we see it again, like in the upper room when God sends his spirit and it's a wind, right? Like there's kind of like this reoccurring imagery in the Bible of breath, wind, you know, that is him. Like it's him. It's not just like a metaphor. It's like actually himself. So when I'm feeling that disconnection from the Lord, like I often lose my breath. Like I, I don't breathe as well. When I'm doing things in my own strength, which you will know this, like when I, (laughs) sometimes when I'm like exercising or I'm lifting something heavy, you're like, 
why are you not breathing? Guys, it's so funny. I look at her and she's like thinking hard and I'm like, breathe. Like, why aren't you? Come it on. seems like it's such a natural thing, but like I forget to breathe because I'm doing it in my own effort. Mm. And I think that we do that spiritually, practically, emotionally, all of these things. Like when we start to try to make connecting to God like a thing that we have to do, we lose our breath. And so a way to just remember that God is like always here and always desiring intimate connection with us is like to remember him like in your breath. Like when you take a deep breath, and your lungs fill up with air, and then, like, you release it, it is actually, like, a moment-by-moment intimacy that, like, you don't share that with literally anybody else, like. Oh, my gosh, that's so beautiful. So, basically, regardless of the feeling, regardless of the thoughts, you cannot breathe on your own. Mm -hmm. Like, you, it's not even something that you think about. It was something that was given to you. Yeah. And it is the reminder that he is with you. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that you still have to address all of the different things that are probably influencing your life. Absolutely. That are causing the disconnection with God, whether you're comparing him to somebody else in your life, whether you're mad and you don't want to talk to Mm -hmm. him, (laughs) whether there's circumstances that you have decided, yeah, I don't think that he would be I don't think he would be willing to come into that situation because there's too much that's gone wrong. There's too much shame. I've gone too far. All of this stuff, regardless of all of that, that there is still breath Mm -hmm. every single time. And that he's already there. Like, so like if you think about like your body and like you take a big deep breath, like we're supposed to be like the body of Jesus, right? Like there's not one single cell in my body that is not right filled up with oxygen that I'm breathing in that God has given me. And like, there's if, so like if I have a problem with you and I'm disconnected from you, like his breath is already in you. Like he's already, he's already making the connection. If I have a problem with, you know, like a part of myself that I don't want to remember or I don't want to think about, or I don't want to deal with, or I'm like, there's like some kind of sinfulness that like I'm not trying to think about. You can't ignore the breath. Oh my God. The breath kind of like it takes up all the space. So I think there's there's a lot of really spiritual like heaviness to just like well, remembering uh, your own breath. And how many times is that such that is the practical technique that so many people have used yeah. in therapy, in exercise class in mm-hmm. in any like you know yep what it, what am I trying to say I guess therapeutic but like anytime that you're supposed to remember yourself breath is always like the main thing like <sighs> take a deep breath calm down take a deep breath and remember mm-hmm. what's going on around you yep or like take a deep breath and remember that you're here in this moment and that you matter. Mm -hmm. But that if the breath is there and if the breath is from God, that every time that you remember that you matter, he's the one that's telling you and giving you the space to do it. Mm -hmm. (gasps) (laughs) This is going to be fun for me. I just keep, I just keep getting worked over how great this is. Thank you, God. Yeah. Whoa. Maybe just take some time to breathe and actually see if there are the space, find out the places in your life that you're having a hard time breathing. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Good question. What the heck? No, I don't want to go ask myself that. (laughs) That's a big deal. (laughs) (laughs) Lord Jesus. Okay. Reading the scripture. Yep. Reading the scripture, reading the scripture. Acts 17, 24 through 28. The God who made the world and all things in it, since he is Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in temples made with hands, Mm -hmm. nor is he served by human hands as though he needed anything, since he himself gives to all people life and breath and all all things. And he made from one man every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth, having determined their appointed times and boundaries of their habitation, that they would seek God, if perhaps they might grope for him and find him, though he is not far from each one of us. Mm-hmm. For in him 
we live and move and exist. Go find the breath, people. <laughs> Go find your breath. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I'm breathing. I'm breathing. <laughs> She's holding her breath. What? Okay, I'm just going to go breathe a bunch. Thanks, y'all, for joining us. <laughs> what? We'll see you next time. I don't even... <sighs> <laughs>Thank you so much for joining us today. This video is a resource of Wire Within Ministries. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We have many other videos just like this one, such as conversation videos, prayer videos, music videos, and much more that we would like to share with you. If you would like to contribute to the work of Water Within Ministries, head over to our website, waterwithinministries.com backslash donate and become a monthly donor today. Thank you so much. God bless you, and we will see you next time.